Okay, so attachments. Uh, a couple simple rules on attachments. The I generally follow some clear, clear and defined rules. Uh, the first one is if I am going to extrude a tooth, I always, always place attachments. If I have a very large rotation, I always, always place attachments. If I have very small teeth, then I'm going to lean towards placing attachments because you need to have as much surface area as possible um, for the appliance to grab onto. All right, so how do you use the shape tool? Very simple. Uh, well, first is you're going to look at the at the table over here and decide which teeth need to have attachments. Okay, so you're going to look at any um, any tooth in the this obviously here stands for intrusion or extrusion. So any tooth that's in this column is definitely a candidate for uh, attachment. So to find out which tooth that is, you're gonna simply click on the column here uh, or the, the row here, and you can see that this tooth has highlighted. So we know that tooth has some extrusion. We're now gonna click on the shape tool. I like to use the, um, the mound shape that's pretty much the only attachment that I use. It's very easy to place, very forgiving, very easy to use. You can obviously experiment with whatever you want, but uh, in my hands, I've just found the attachment to be, or the mount should be very versatile. Okay, so we have targeted that this tooth is gonna place, we're gonna place the attachment on it. So I have first click on the mount shape. Now I'm going to click on the tooth and we can see the attachment has appeared there. You can resize and reshape the attachment however you'd like using these inner um, little bars here. And you can also re uh, reposition the tooth uh, or the attachment anywhere you'd like. Now for extrusion, I'm going to make this a little more of a horizontal attachment. And I'm going to rotate this around and I am going to angle this so that that aligner can push on that surface there as much as possible. Then we click on OK. And then now I have the attachment positioned on that tooth how I'd like. I always like to check the before, you know, the beginning, and the final um, to make sure that I don't have the attachment in the patient's occlusion. If I do, you simply go back into the shape tool click on the attachment and then you can reposition the attachment really wherever you would like. All right, now for rotations, I'm gonna make the attachment a little bit differently. So for example, looking at this tooth here, that tooth number one is very small, also needs a lot of rotation. So I'm going to place the attach, uh, I'm gonna place a vertical attachment on that tooth. So we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna click on the shape tool. I'm gonna use the mound shape. I'm gonna click right in the center of that tooth. And I'm going to make a vertical attachment. And I'm gonna slenderize it here a little bit. And I'm gonna move it over. That way there is as much surface area as possible for the plastic to wrap into there and actually grab onto that edge of the tooth. And I'm going to rotate around and look at it from this perspective here. And then the last check I'm going to do is just make sure that it's not in the patient's occlusion. So if you have a hard time visualizing, you can simply take this here and you can shrink these down if you'd like. So they basically just, just actually, I think it's the, the global one here. You can shrink, shrink that all the way down so you can visualize just. You can see we've got plenty of room there in the patient's occlusion. Um, now, however, let's click on OK. And let's check that with the beginning on the upper. So you see, actually, it is in the patient's occlusion. So to correct that, all we're going to do is click on Shape. And then we're going to click on this. Bring it down ever so slightly. And that's it. And so that is just a real quick and easy introduction on how to place attachments. It takes a little practice, 
and it's part art, uh, part science. But once you get once you get it down and follow those simple rules, very quick and easy way to add attachments and really optimize the tooth movement.